Man, look at this clown. I know, he looks like some kind of clown. What a disgrace. But we'll just dress him up like we remember him. I don't really remember what he looked like, bro. Just that he was cool. Then let's make him cool! With science! Just sign this here waiver stating that we can do anything we want to your mind, body, and spiritual being. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Class. Science? <laughs> you are going to teach us science? You can't even tie your shoes. That's right, because Mr. B don't got laces. <gasps> now stop disrupting my class or you get a check mark. I don't believe this. That's better. Now, what do you kitty kids want to learn about sciences today? Why are buildings so tall? How many pancakes can I eat? Ooh, why is the sky blue? Good one, Star. That's today's lesson. Oh, come on. Everybody knows the sky is blue because the sun reflects the blue ocean. Nah, son, nah. Then why don't you tell us? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. A magic van? There's no magic in science! Hey, settle down! You want a check mark? No. Then get your butt in the magic van! All right, ready, buddy? Just gonna merge our DNA. No big deal. What are the superpowers of a robin? Well, uh, good question. Flight, picking things up off the ground with your mouth, your crazy old bird feet, stuff like that. Nothing like a little lab disaster to give you superpowers. Physics can be a bit confusing at first, so we'll start with one of the fundamental principles, superposition. Oh, please. I know all about superposition. Check it out. Fire! Oh, wow. Wow. That is a superposition. This is my superposition. What? Ah! Stop that. We're talking about science, not superhero poses. If superpositions isn't about posing like Batman, we ain't interested. I promise you will be interested once I explain superposition according to the Copenhagen interpretation. Copenhagen? We're going to Denmark? Ooh, I always wanted to see the Little Mermaid statue. Fish women. I love the eating of the pickled herring. Pickled fish. And they got that good Rosenborg castle, yo. Yeah? Home of the fish king. We love Copenhagen. The whole city is fish. We're not going to Copenhagen. We will never, ever go to that dirty fish town. Aww. Aww. So, we're not learning about interesting cities or posing like superheroes? No, just science. Now listen closely to this important information. Superposition is the concept that when we do not know what the state of an object is, it is actually in all possible states simultaneously. Only the act of observation and measurement causes the object to be limited to a single possibility, which truly is an incredible concept. Wow. Wow. I can't believe it. Wow. So, you understand? 
Nah, fool. That sounds straight up gibberish. We were impressed because we thought you couldn't get more boring. And yet you did. You the did. What is this place? This is what the ancients called a lab. Robin must be back there, yo. Hmm. It appears to enter the laboratory's inner sanctum, we must face the three challenges. The first one reads, if you don't want to learn a horrible lesson, keep moving at five meters per second. Is that fast? How fast is a meter? I have none of the idea. It doesn't matter. We have to move. Now! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we've made it through. What's the next challenge, yo? This challenge is a breeze. Just step on the temperature at which water does freeze. Easy peasy. 32 degrees. Wait, that's Fahrenheit. Oh. 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 What's the third challenge? Unless you wish to fail, place one kilogram upon this scale. Kill a gram? That'd be easy, yo! Clown's gone, Star. It's safe to come out. <laughs> Yo, guys! We made our clown cool again. Keep him away from me. Check Doesn't look very funny to me. Oh, yeah? Do your act, yo! The clown is trying to kill me! Oh, yeah! It burns! Oh, it's like a pot in the face! But cooler! I told you clowns are funny. Guys, this is wrong. <laughs> Okay, it's a little funny, but still wrong. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, check it. Science time! So, yo, the sun's over there, and it's blowing sunlight all over the place, right? Now, that sunlight is all the colors of the rainbow. So, in a rainbow, you got blue, right? So them blues get up in here, up high around the earth ball, okay? And then they all get friendly with the gases, and all the gases all in up, they're all like, what up, what up, what up? And then the light that is blue, that's all. They're all like, what up, dude? How you been? And that's how, you know, that's how the, the sky's blue now. Everything you just said is nonsense. No, I get it. The gas particles high up in the atmosphere reflect the blue light. Which gives the sky its blue color. That's what's up. Yo, Mr. B, how come the sky is orange or red sometimes? Bro, it's like this. Up in that rainbow, you got red and orange, right? Well, when the sun goes down, the blues are all like, later, because they ain't going to be high, up high no more, right? So then the oranges and the reds get all low, 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 and other stuff up in there and all around up in there. And they're all like, yes, 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 my dude, yes. Oh, so the particles lower in the atmosphere reflect the red and orange light. Because they travel further as the earthly sun is setting. <sighs> he is speaking gibberish. Stop interrupting my class. That's a check mark. Mm -mm -mm. You need to get your act together, young man. That's on your permanent record, son. Oh! It's not yeah permanent record. It's your permanent record. The teacher's not supposed to need grammar lessons. I can't believe my luck. I just washed my car and it's already covered in bird dookie. Sorry. My bad. Oh! 
What happened to you? And what are you doing pooping on my car? Ugh. I try to give myself superpowers. By turning yourself into the chicken? I guess it didn't really work out like I was hoping. Does this mean you finally realize superpowers are a curse? No way! This doesn't count so... Wait, one sec. This doesn't count since I didn't get any powers. I almost want to give you superpowers, just to teach you a lesson. You can give me powers? Of course I can, but you'd have to be sure this is something you really want. Ah! <clears throat> that was a yes. <gasps> Robin! What's you doing with them dirty scientists? Robin here is helping us wipe the Imperial system of measurement off the face of the Earth. Perhaps you'd like to join the cause? Never! <laughs> we turned your friend into a scientist. What makes you think we can't do the same to you? Because we ain't smart enough to be no scientists, yo! You will be once Robin introduces you to the scientific method. Come, friends! Let me tell you more about this system of measurement not based on body parts. <laughs> 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 Robin, stop! You have to remember who you are. You're a foot, you're a tablespoon, an ounce, an inch. You're as individual as each of these random measurements. You're not standardized, or practical, or well thought out. You're American. Uh, Titans, what happened? The filthy scientists used the metric to trick you. What? You'll pay for trying to unify the world's measurement systems! <laughs> Ignorant fools! We will crush you with our superior metric-based attacks! The metric system may be superior in every way, except one. Titans, base! <laughs> Who wants muffins? So, ta! Scabba <laughs> My whole life has been a lie! Oh, not again! This is it, Titans! You didn't believe me before! But now, I will make you understand! Behold the truth! Nothing? Dude, have you lost your mind? Take a closer look and you will see. Oh, you know, I, I, you nothing know, to do with it. Uh, Yo, I'm about to drop some quantum mechanical super science on oh, y'all. Okay. You take two sets, put them on a barrier in front of a wall where this general area will show us the focus of this precarious display of sheer quantum mysteria. Shoot some electrons through a double slit. What do you get? What do you get? Shoot some electrons through a double slit. What do you get? What do you get? Across the wall, but how you say can a mini skill signal a subatomic particle be so ubiquitous and diabolical? Shoot some electrons through a double slit. What do you get? What do you get? Shoot some electrons through a double slit. What do you get? What do you get? But wait, the act of observation changes the facts of this conversation. Cause when you measure when you take a hard look, the electron is in one place it says put. Shoot some electrons through a double slit. What do you get? What do you get? Shoot some electrons through a double slit. What do you get? What do you get? I never understood the nature of existence at the subatomic level until now. Our world is so much more complex and fascinating than I realized. I guess Hughes was right. We probably do live in one of them good matrix-like simulations. Yes, it's as I always suspected. Impenetrable scientific theories are best explained through song.